So welcome back once again to War Gear Reviews and today I want to say a big thank you to Steel Series for hooking up this. It's the Steel Series 700 gaming mouse with an OLED screen on the side and tactile feedback. And I'm going to do this video about why you should buy this. But before I do that, I'm going to finish my cup of tea because the entire British Empire was founded on cups of tea. And if you think I'm making this video without one, you're mistaken. So why buy the SteelSeries Rival 700? Well, there's quite a few good reasons why. The main one for me is the fact that it has the PixArt 3360 sensor, which is commonly known as the finest mouse sensor known to man. Also, it has tactile feedback, which works with certain games. CSGO, for example. The great thing about this feature is that you can configure the different vibration patterns to alert you to different events. For example, headshots. Boom, headshot! Boom and shot! I can dance all day! I can dance all day! Low life, which means you can keep your eyes glued to the gameplay and not the in-game feed. But the question still remains, how do you kill that which has no life? Whoever this person is, he has played World of Warcraft nearly every hour of every day for the past year and a half. Gentlemen, we are dealing with someone here who has absolutely no life. Also, the organic light emitting diode screen on the side is a nice touch for spectators. It gives it a little more bling than the Rival 700's Rivals. Using the SteelSeries software, you can customize what it displays. And you can also have it display game stats, which works well for CSGO. And it's almost as if it was made for that game. The Rival 700 also has Prism RGB backlighting behind the scroll wheel and logo on the back. And these lights can display 19.8 million different colors, which makes it wonderfully colorful. As for comfortability, it's got quite a unique shape and style. The button positions are good, all but one, which is button six, which is switched off by default, probably for that reason, it's hard to reach. But it could definitely be handy for something and I'm still trying to figure that out. The CPI button is placed nicely so that you don't hit it by accident. And you can switch between two settings, which can be custom configured between 100 and 16,000 CPI. The scroll wheel is smooth and it just feels nice. It registers perfectly each click regardless of your scrolling speed and it can be clicked down. There's a lot more custom tweaks you can do to this mouse using the software, but ain't nobody got time for that right now. And I suggest you do a bit of reading on that. So my overall opinion, I really like it. It's a bit flashier than some, it's a bit heavier than some at 135 grams, but performance wise, it's very, very good. Style wise, it's awesome. And when your friends glance over at your OLED screen on the side, they can see just how awesome you're doing. And you will know thanks to its good vibrations. And it might just help you kill that which has no life. Looks like you're about to get pwned. Yeah! So that's it for this What Gear review on the Rival 700 from Steel Series. A big thumbs up to those guys for sending me this. I really, really appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and you will be one of the finest subscribers known to man. I'll see you guys in the next one. So don't be late. How do you kill that which has no life?